right, so today we're gonna go over how to fill in your store info. So to get started, what you'll wanna have entered first is your display email and your in-store phone number. Typically these will be already uploaded, but if they're not, what you can do is click the pencil here, type in your email, type in the store phone that you want people to see on the site, and click the check mark to save. And then just another thing to note here is the this store is accepting orders button. So super important to make sure that that's turned on before you start um, accepting orders at your store and before your site goes live. So with that, if it's off and it's gray, what you'll do, just click to toggle it on, make it yellow, save. And then you've got your display email, your in-store phone, and accepting orders is turned on. Next over here to the right, we'll have order types. So this is where you just turn them on so people know what you'll be offering. And to do this, you'll click the pencil and then you can toggle on and off each of these depending on what you would like to offer. For pickup, once you toggle it on, you'll be ready to go as long as you have your hours set. For delivery, you'll have to set up your delivery zone, which is included in another video. And then for shipping, you'll just have to do the extra steps for that setup as well. So just to be aware when you're toggling things on and off, pick up, make sure your hours are set, delivery, make sure your hours and your zone is set, and shipping, make sure your info has been filled in down here. And then when we're ready, click check to save. And then we'll move down to order notification preference. So this is gonna be where you get your automated phone call and email um, at the store level. So it's great to put phone numbers or email addresses here that aren't associated with users, just since users have their own order notification preferences. So here, say you wanna add the store email, store phone number, things like that. You can go ahead, click on the pencil, type in the phone number, type in the email, and then click check to save. And that'll get you through setting up your store info.